So just three minutes, I need you to kind of breathe and help me breathe. Okay. My dad is kind of like my manager. When we get to the schools, he'll set everything up. He'll make sure everything's going smoothly. Nice to meet you. I'm Chelsea. Nice to meet you. Hi. Hey. Nice to meet you. Let's give a warm welcome to John Hill. It's hard for me to see my dad speak. All right, I'm good. Because then I relive, you know, what I put not only myself through, but like my dad, you know, my family. The last thing I remembered was my face on the carpet and my cell phone lit against the carpet. And I don't know if I was down for two seconds or two minutes, but my life changed from that moment. As soon as I sat back up and got up and picked that phone up, and tried to focus, and I lost my focus for a couple months. <laughs> Usually I leave the room because uh, the video brings back a lot of memories, and uh, it was probably a good solid year. I woke up many times during the night, usually around 4 or 5 o'clock in the morning with a kind of like night terror. time I speak, I have to relive the whole event all over again, and it never gets easy. There she is. I know this is also really important for my dad. He's worked so hard on our foundation. This means the world to him. If you guys do have, decide to go out and uh, go out with your friends and stuff, I just want you know, because I'm still a teenager, I'm not going to tell you guys what not to do, but I want you guys to think a little past that. And I just, I hope you guys think, you know, okay, if I'm going to go out, if you are, please have a designated driver. Thank you guys so much for coming. When we speak, it brings up a lot of tough memories. But I just kind of put on a happy face to make everyone else happy. Because why do you want to be around someone who's depressed? That's not fun. That's just going to bring you down. So I just kind of keep it in, put on a happy face, and make everyone else happy. Woo!